Now after having a brief understanding of direction ratios, direction cosines, it is the time to solve a problem. Find direction cosines of a vector are equally inclined. So this terminology is very important. It says equally inclined with OX, OY, OZ. If modifier is given, find the total number of such vectors. So total number of vectors I have to find out. So that will be a number, say 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. But for that number also you will have to solve pertaining to the information given. So I have been given that I have equally inclined vectors with OX, OY, OZ. Now one thing is very sure that when I have to talk about direction cosines, this relation cannot be ignored. The other thing for equally inclined, for equally inclined, I know L, M, N definitely should be equal. Now this is your equation number 2, use equation number 2 for 1. So L, M, N can be written as only one single term. So L square plus L square plus M square from equation number 2 is equal to this. So L is equal to plus minus 1 by under root 3 and that is also equal to M that is also equal to N. So this is about direction cosines. But is this the answer? No, because not only direction cosines were needed, but they were needed to find out the final answer of total number of vectors. Now given to you is mod r and you have to find out direction cosines of this given vector r. So now you know that if a vector is there, it is basically composed of its modulus multiply by what? We know that in vector we have two things, magnitude and direction. So a unit vector is also needed. So what would be the unit vector? It will be obtained from these direction cosines. So that will be 1 by under root 3 i cap plus minus 1 by under root 3 j cap plus minus 1 by under root 3 k cap. So remember in the previous video when I taught you about the properties, I told you that there are some more important points. But those important points we will learn with time, with the help of questions. So this is one important property wherein a vector is equal to a magnitude into its uh, unit vector and the unit vectors are in terms of cosine. So cosine multiplied by i cap, cosine multiplied by j cap and so on. Now see, this is plus minus, plus minus, plus minus means two signs are there either positive or negative and how many positions? 1, 2, 3. So now you know the permutations and combinations. So how can I arrange? So I have three places, I have two signs. So 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 2. So 8 ways I can arrange. Hence 8 possible number of vectors are the answer. So again I tell you that this two relations had uh, brought me to the situation to find out L, M, N. They were obviously equal. And then I saw that this is a very important relation which I learned now itself in this question. Later, since L and N only were not needed, the vector only was not needed, we wanted to know about more such vectors. So total number of vectors from permutation and combination knowledge is 8.